My first foray into Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey was, to put it bluntly, confusing. A warning popped up and demanded I dodge out of the way, of what I couldn't be sure. Not knowing what to do, I couldn't respond in time, and an unseen attack left me both bleeding and poisoned. I had absolutely no idea where I should go or how to fix myself. I began to wander, and thankfully, about 30 minutes later, I found the rest of my clan. As it turns out, that first journey where I blindly limped in different directions in hopes of finding someone to help me is a fairly accurate depiction of what Ancestors regularly entails. The game prides itself on giving you as little information as it can and daring you to rely on your ingenuity and resourcefulness to survive. Though the game fulfills its promise to do the former, it fails to deliver a compelling reason as to why you'd even want to rise up to the challenge of the latter. In Ancestors, you play as a member of an ape clan in 10 million BC Africa, and you try to ensure your lineage continues through to 2 million BC. To survive that long, you need to manage how much you eat, drink, and sleep, while also steering clear of predators and taking care of injuries. As you interact with more aspects of the world, you grow smarter and acquire new skills, which you can then pass on to your descendants. Every second of real-world time translates into a minute in-game. To speed things along, your in-game progress produces opportunities to further clan evolution and make large jumps ahead in time. And with every new generation of apes, you get an opportunity to evolve. The process moves you to a new calculated placement on the timeline that's dependent on which advancements you make beforehand. It's definitely not easy though, especially since your clan needs to sustain itself throughout those 8 million years in a single lineage. Though your clanmates learn what you do in real time, losing an entire clan means you have to restart from a brand new lineage and relearn everything you've previously discovered. If your clan dies after they've adapted to eating fish, for example, you not only need to go through the entire process of reacquainting your diet, but you'll have to teach your apes how to make fishing spears all over again. When it's a few minutes of knowledge lost, it's not that big of a deal. But when you're losing hours of progress, it can be demoralizing. Instead of saving your skills and knowledge between runs, Ancestors records your progress by keeping track of how far you travel. You can discover and unlock new starting points, ranging from a lush forest to a plains-filled savanna. Unlocking these new start points provides welcome variety, as each environment contains its own unique ecosystem of creatures and plants, as well as its own set of weather-based challenges. But your primates always begin in the same clueless state. Even if you already know what to do, you'll have to recreate everything you've done to get back to where you were in the evolutionary process before your clan was wiped out. This gameplay loop can be immensely frustrating, and it's one that gets more drawn out the more you play. There's nothing in the game that allows you to recover from a failure and quickly rebuild what's been lost either, which is disheartening when your downfall is your own fault and downright frustrating when it's just bad luck. Having to redo everything you've already done also keeps you from discovering new things, which is paramount to surviving in one of the few good parts of Ancestors. With practically zero tutorials, Ancestors forces you to be experimental in order to succeed. There's joy to be had in bashing different items together to see what happens and then compiling and testing hypotheses. As much as I was frustrated by needing to redo the entire process of creating the fishing spear in repeated playthroughs, I felt genuine accomplishment in figuring out the first time. Most of Ancestors' puzzles can be solved with logical sense, so the challenge comes in figuring out where to find the materials you think you need. Granted, this being a game, there are occasionally arbitrary hurdles you need to jump through to build certain tools, but you'll typically only find these associated to more advanced late game tasks. You don't get to enjoy much of the satisfaction in discovering new things and regularly evolving though, as predators repeatedly sneak up on you and interrupt your efforts. Historically, it makes sense you're so powerless, as our ape ancestors undoubtedly lived many more years as prey than predator. But in the context of a video game, the constant barrage of spawning enemies that you can't really deal with gets in the way of the gameplay loop of learning, responding, and evolving. 
It's a roadblock that's only toppled once you acquire the skills and tools to put up an adequate defense. But since so much has to be done to get to that point, contending with large predators in the early hours of the game feels unfair. The closest you come to feeling safe while playing is while you're up in the trees. You spend a lot of time in the branches as a result, but unfortunately there's no easy way to travel between them. You can climb practically anything in Ancestors provided you have the stamina, so scrambling up into a tree is a quick painless process. However, with no way to easily course correct yourself while swinging, you typically only get to enjoy a few seconds of fast paced energetic movement before you run at a branch, plummet to earth, and possibly break your legs. And that's a shame, because tree traversal is pretty fun once you've got the swing of things. Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey lingers for far too long in its most toilsome aspects. The game does reward initial experimentation, but then asks you to repeat processes over and over again without any means of securing your legacy. It's an absolute grind to reach the closest that Ancestors has to an in-game goal, and one costly mistake can erase everything you've accomplished. What small satisfaction the game does provide is consistently ruined by violent predators, though the threat does lessen once you evolve enough. But as it stands, investing in Ancestors' journey demands too much effort for too little reward.